Hello folks, uh, this is a video that I really should have done some time ago, uh, various various things uh, kept getting in the way, uh, projects and life and work and other priorities, but about six months ago uh, Mr. Kevin Sharp of Zero Carbon World in the UK very uh, very kindly uh, supplied me with a charging point for my home. I should actually say a a tethered charging point because it comes with a attached cable uh, with the correct um, IC6196 Type 2 socket or plug I should say uh, for charging my cars. Up until today, actually, I had been using a non-tethered charging point that was actually installed slightly to my left uh, on the house here, and I kind of muddled along with it, kind of put up with having the lead trailing around and having to get the lead out of the boot of the car when I would come home and kind of plug it in at both ends and turn on a key on this thing, and it was all very inconvenient uh, particularly coming into the winter months with the rain and so forth and uh, so I have eventually bit the bullet today and fitted the charging point so firstly I would like to apologize publicly to Kevin for uh, taking so long to actually get the charging point fitted and to get this video made uh, because it was very kind of him indeed uh, to supply this particular product to me and I had promised at that stage that I would fit it and make a video about that so apologies Kevin uh, I'm about six months late but I suppose <laughs> better late than never uh, so the charging point itself is a very well put together uh, piece of kit it's in a aluminium enclosure, um, IP rated, uh, so it fits on the wall here quite well. It's quite a low profile box also, uh, so it's not sticking out uh, or being, you know, otherwise aesthetically unpleasing. Not that I'm a very, uh, not that I'm the kind of a person that worries too much about what my house looks like so long as it actually works. Um, in fact this rather poor looking carriage lamp I'll have to replace uh, fairly soon. So I literally just screwed it to the wall, ran some 25mm uh, plastic conduit um, from the attic down into the base of the unit here put some PVC glue on all of these joints here just to stop them uh, leaking or I should say letting in water and um, pretty much just turned on the power and just plugged in the car so let's have a bit of a close up look at the charging point itself and then I'll show you guys how we just go about plugging in the, the car because I have had several people saying to me um, you know, oh, you know, I wouldn't mind having an electric car, you know, the range doesn't really bother me, but the thing that would bother me would be actually plugging it in and remembering to plug it in. And, in fact, that exact uh, point was made uh, fairly, fairly recently um, in a newspaper uh, article about electric cars and so forth. And, I mean, for me, maybe it's because I'm not that... I'm not that uh, objective, but I simply cannot see how you would forget. But uh, so right, let's have a look at the charging point, and then I'll just uh, plug it into the lanyard, and uh, that'll be it. So stay with us. Alrighty, so we'll do a little bit of a Blair Witch tour of the of the actual charging point itself. As we can see, it was supplied. Uh, by Zero Carbon World. Uh, again, Mr. Kevin Sharp uh, is the man that I was speaking to there, so thank you, Kevin. Um, on the front here, we have a window that we can um, access. I 
think we can. Can we? Yes, we can. And in there, uh, to the right, we'll see a 32 amp, uh, 30 milliamp RCB. BO, and to the left, a big uh, 40 amp contactor uh, that actually turns on the power to the car. So this is all uh, easily accessible from the front here, but also uh, very well sealed against the elements. And again, unlike a lot of these these charging points that have lots of G whiz displays on them uh, we just need a simple LED to tell us the status at the minute the flashing blue means that we're not connected to the car and uh, down the bottom we have my cable inlet uh, coming in on the right and the actual um, outlet the charging cable outlet now this cable tie thing is entirely my own construct uh, it's just a very crude method to allow me to hang the uh, the type 2 plug here uh, in such a way that it's always facing downward so that any rain or that will just drip down off it and not go back up into the uh, pins now there's a I think it's about a three meter cable su supplied which is satisfactory for where I have uh, installed it and um, you can just see there what I've brought the mains cable in that is a uh, 3 by 6 square cable and uh, it's fed from a 32 amp um, RCBO on my main power uh, fuse board panel inside the hall door. So this is a typical come home, pull up the car, hop out, what do I do, open the flap, unscrew the cover, here take my cable, plug it in and I'm done, that's it, it can't be more than 10 seconds. Um, it's very simple then, there's a timer in the car that handles uh, Turning on the charging when the cheap rate electricity kicks in, and um, which is 11 o'clock at night uh, during the winter, we ch we charge up, we finish, come out the next morning, um, unplug, just hang our cable back up. That's it. We're done here. Uh, to me, can't really get much more simple than that. And uh, once, once again, just want to thank uh, Kevin very much indeed for having supplied uh, that excellent charging point. And uh, we'll come back in a few months' time after it's done a bit of work for us and uh, see how we've gotten on. So, uh, thanks a lot, folks. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for watching. And we'll be back soon. Uh, we've got a lot of projects going on at the minute, not least of which the whole ch demo fast charging um, interface that we're building. And um, we got the Panzer, we got more build to do on that. So stay with us and we'll be back soon. Thanks a lot.